All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later on for our next deck, which is going to be Simic Adapt. Um, ugh, haven't played um, Simic Adapt in a little bit, um, but we played a bio, we played a Bant Biomancer's Familiar deck yesterday, and it was a lot of fun. So I wanted to try this again with with just uh, blue and green, not having any white in it. Because we got some Hadana's Climbs and everything, our Biogenic Ooze. We have Zagana, which is pretty cool. I am the thing I'm a little worried about here is that I am worried that I have too much of a top end, like too many four and five mana cards. Like maybe I shouldn't have the Biogenic Oozes or the Frilled Mystics, like one of those, and maybe I should be, have like Branch Walkers and uh, more Hadana's Climb and stuff like that. But I don't know. I want to try these out. Um, you know, like that's that's a worry. Um, you know, like that's like something I'm a little worried about. But um, we'll kind of see how the games go. We'll see uh, if. Frilled Mystic or Biogenic Ooze um, underperform for us. Um, but yeah, we got Simic Adapt. What? Go ahead. Here. Attack the Chapstick. Yeah, don't bite me. Bite the Chapstick. All right, uh, Simic Adapt. <laughs> yeah, we don't have Shark to Crab uh, in our Simic Adapt deck, but we still have a lot of Adapt cards. Biomance is familiar, and, and Skarg and Hellkite is awesome. Ooh, that does sound pretty sweet. That does sound pretty sweet. It's a little bit of an awkward hand, Dub Zagana, and um, ooh, that makes it better. And no like things to get counters on really before we play the Zagana. Wow, opponent's hecka rude. Working on Sultai Control. Um, I think sweepers are a little rough at Sultai Control, but you know, I guess you get um, you get Ritual of Set, so that's hopefully good enough. Uh, too many fours and fives. Did not want to draw more fours and fives, and that's what we did. Well, this this is a slaughter. Kill the mana creatures, and we draw true uh, all fours and fives. All right, let's get these Ripjaw Raptors in there, and even Brontodons. Just want to play like some bigger creatures. Um, I don't think this is really a matchup for Frilled Mystic. Uh, I think that our opponent's going to be playing to the board. We're going to be playing to the board. I don't. I don't think holding up Frilled Mystic is going to be something that we're going to want to be doing. So we'll take those out uh, for some dinosaurs. That seems reasonable. I could play Entrancing Melody. Maybe I should be melodying. Because I'd be melodying over, like, Vivian. Hmm. Dude, that was a Gruel Smash right there. Gruel Smash. I have not consumed. Oh, I guess I've consumed a little bit of water. I've not consumed 16 ounces of water so far this stream. Well, this time we actually have land drops, so we're good to go. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, getting the Grixis discard. Stack up on YouTube. Rooftop Raptor is so good. Okay, now we have a creature with a counter on it for, for Zagana as well. Where's the Grix Distant Card deck list? Here it is. Ooh, glad they didn't have a shock. Could be Chain Whirler to take out the Growth Chamber Guardian. But that's, you know, still a fine trade. And Growth Chamber Guardian has been an all star this match. Or like this game at least. Hellkite. Kite. Wild animals. <laughs> Get that out of here. It's a lot better when we have lands. <laughs> Daredevil. Yeah, sorry, opponent. That's not. Daredevil's not doing too much I've for you seen here. Things that would break someone like you. Definitely declining on the, the shuffle because we have like the three lands at the bottom. Alright, yeah, let's let's play these melodies. Um Maybe Melody instead of Climb. Honestly not sure if we really need climb. We'll take let's take out one Vivian and one climb for the two melodies. There we go. Okay, almost done with the Grixis deck for YouTube. Gotta make a new photo. Alright, sorry I'm not looking at the chat right now. Um, ah. Alright, game three. The all-important decider. Love having the Scriptral Raptor. Love the four lands. We will 
you will be keeping. Looks like we're drawing some gas, too. Hmm. That's okay. We'll have to shock. Get the Hedonis climb in right now. That's fine. Card's kind of a problem. You know, Vivian can't really. I mean, Vivian can kill it, but it'll come back. <laughs> yeah, that's a good Evo combo. Yeah, I think that's our plan is to outrace them. <laughs> do I want a Zagana or do I want a Shock for Biogenic Ooze? Probably want a Zagana. And I think I want to do the Zagana first, because I don't want Lava Coil to kill my Zagana. Certainly see them just chilling on Lava Coil over there. Boom! Yeah, that's I was worried about Shock for the Ooze, yep. Yeah. That's a, something I was certainly worried about with Shock for the Use. We have one win, but this thing is way over here. All right. All right, Laggy Arena, we'll reset you. Agent Sid. Welcome to the channel, Agent Sid. Thank you f so much for using your Twitch Prime sub, sub here for the second month in a row. I really appreciate that. Sub number 11 on the day. All right, we are 1-0. With Simic Adapt getting started on the right foot. Um, I, d I don't know how much RAM I have, honestly, on the computer. And these islands are sweet. Those are some good Simic Islands also, like blue-green. I picked out some good Simic Islands. Um, I do not know if MTG Bot still does trivia. Like, honestly, I don't know. I, I really don't know how to do trivia on, on MTG bot or anything. Okay, boom, there we go. All right, so you're doing 20 questions. Um, Stens Ball got a gifted sub from DJ Polly B.
So what is it? So is is it a number? I guess. MTG bot just gave a hint. What's our opponent doing? Playing. Wait, it says, oh, what is the, uh, so it was a 4-4? Four, four. Hmm. Dude, Boot, you're crushing it. Getting all that trivia right. Okay, all right, so our opponent does tap out. Um, which means we'll be able to resolve Vivian, assuming they don't have Skull Pierce, that is. Hey, quick. Get in that sub in here. Just like your name, get in that sub in real quick. How this thing goes is up to you, pal. Thank you so much for that, that sub, quick. comes. I do appreciate that. Let's get the Krasis against this uh, Sultai control-ish type deck. Sub number 13. So all we saw from them was just Thief of, or sorry, uh, Thought Erasure and Vras's Contempt. That's all we saw from our opponent. Hmm. I don't know what I want to sideboard. Or even if I want to sideboard. Maybe I just don't. Yeah, let's just keep it th like this. Maybe I should be playing Entrancing Melody because they're going to most likely be a Hydroid Crisis deck. Just didn't see like a, a ton from our opponent. We'll, we'll just kind of keep it like, we'll just keep it the same. Um, run this back. See how it goes. We saw the power of Hadana's Climb, though, that last game. Of, like, putting the counter on Incubation Druid so it could start doing stuff and, and so on. Yeah, full-time streaming is enough income right now, but it's not its not a lot. Um, yeah, I don't have, like, much excess income. So that's why I do, and, like, those bounties um, are pretty important. The wilds are my right, so they shield. got Vivian down before us, but we're, we can have Vivian next turn. Also. Foe the king. Getting that second month sub in. Hmm. Maybe I should ooze instead of Vivian. Yeah, getting getting ooze going sounds like a a good thing. 
I'm a survivor. Thank you so much, King. That's sub number 14 on the day. One more until it's uh, pack time. Come to me. All right, so they're just like regular old Soul Tide mid range. They just had Thought Erasure game one, which usually when you're playing Thought Erasure, you're not playing um, Wild Growth Walker. That's kind of the slot that that comes in for. Hmm. I need these entrancing melodies. I didn't even need to shock there. Scars are lessons written in skin. Meet my newest friend. I agree. That is one of the best 30 seconds to Mars songs. Definitely agree. All right, this will be kind of tough. Um... Being biogenic Let's use. See if you're worthy. Let's go with the growth chamber guardian. Let's see if we get a land. Didn't get a land. Um, but we are gonna have a big crisis next turn. I kind of wish I would have taken the land instead of the Growth Chamber Guardian now. You can't stop nature. Yeah, I don't have any removal in this this deck besides Vivian right now. Vivian's my only removal spell. So, like, against the Biogenic Ooze, I have nothing right now. No one knows the wilds like I do. Hmm. I don't find another. I kind of wanted to find another ooze. Oh, yeah, I forgot these things only cost one mana. The wilds are my shield. Glad I took that growth chamber guardian now. It only costs one mana. We gotta protect our Vivian. Finality would be horrible, of course. Ugh. It would kill all their things except for like one, you know, kill everything but one thing on their side. And it would kill everything but two things on our side. We can, um, we can adapt this growth chamber guardian again because the Biomancer's familiar. And then the Incubation Druid will survive also. Ugh. Stand down or prepare.
prepare to die. Soon you will be that thing's scary. Nothing. Trump attack. Don't think our, our opponent was expecting this. This 4 4 to turn, it's only turned into a 6 6. Yeah, mass manipulation. Yeah, I have, I have entrancing melodies in the sideboard that I'm going to be bringing in here. Um, I consider mass manipulation also. You know, I wasn't exactly sure which one I wanted for that slot. Um, mass manipulation is the kind of card that, like I have to have incubation druid in play uh, in order to take advantage of it. Draw and fire. So one, two, three, four. I still have one, two, three, four, five, six. We found the ooze, but we don't have any mana. I hope my opponent just jump blocks. I don't actually want to adapt to this thing again. Because I want to have Frilled Mystic available here. Yeah, to, for the the Spotify list, um, just exclamation point playlist. You can find the the playlist right there. This is nothing. Crew, attack at will. I think we did it. I think we did it. Now what, can we only do 18? Oh, maybe I can only do 18. Can I, I guess I can wait a turn. No one knows the wilds like I do. I guess I need to wait a turn. Yeah, I can adapt and climb, but that, that only puts that only puts these things into to being a nine nine. Come to me. I 
I'm just getting started. Hey, track team. Life is good. Unless they have like a one mana instant speed removal spell, we got this. So we'll let this thing adapt again. So now it's a 10 10. And then climb. Make this a 22-22 flyer. And take this home. Boom. The Wings Temple of Orozka. Granting victory. 2-0. Oh. Yeah, our, our opponent, I don't think our opponent was expecting that. I don't know. We played that against them game one. All right. This has been a better day. We've been winning some matches here today. Struggled the last two days. Ooh, one button undone. But been doing better today. Alright, boot with the sub gift out at random, and who gets it? Ron Scoff 33. Getting aboard that SS hype. Thank you so much, Boot, and congratulations, Ron Scoff. Hope you uh, enjoy the emotes. Hope you use them. And that's sub number 15 on the day, so we'll be cracking a pack open after this. So yeah, you can't continually adapt, um, so that's why we couldn't just keep spending more mana and adapting. Biomancer's Familiar does have like that, that clause, though, that does allow you to adapt one additional time uh, each one of the turns. And so that's how, that's how we were doing that, but that's why we couldn't just, like, the previous turn when we drew the Hadana's Climb, that's why we couldn't just, like, adapt a bunch and climb and kill them. All right, we're going to have to race that Phoenix. It's not too easy to do. It's a big time, you know, if I, if we were on the play and been able to counter the first Phoenix and then drop ooze, you know, like we'd be in a lot better spot than where we are now. But it's time to start oozing. I could just go Vivian, kill their Phoenix. They only have two cards. It's not like super likely that they just cast three spells. Nah, let's ooze. Play land. Have more lands in hand, opponent. Because I don't want them to have spells.
Hmm. We have to do this, otherwise we're we're not gonna win this race if we play another biogenic use we're, we're dead no like real quickly. Restoration was painless. <laughs> Phoenix decks don't usually play very many dive downs. Ugh. Radical idea is horrible for us. Okay, good. That's not another Phoenix back in play right now. That's her, that's good for us. Every defeat is a new beginning. Yeah, now we're looking good at winning this race. Ugh. Never mind. Wow, that's a lot of radical ideas. So they get the other Phoenix back, they get to hit us for 6, and now they have a chump blocker for the 5-5, five five. and so I can only do 7 damage, and then the other 6 kills us. Dang. No, we lose. If they attack with both their Phoenixes. And then just chump block the 5-5. Five five. That was an awesome, awesome turn for them. You know, because they not only killed my creature, but then also had a chump blocker and got the phoenix back. All of that with the six mana. Um. All right, so I have some harpooners and some melodies. I don't know if I need melodies. Seem like they cost a lot of mana. <laughs> I don't think I want negates in this matchup either. Hmm. I don't know what I want to take out. I don't love Ooze. I don't love Frilled Mystic. I don't love Zagana. Biomance is familiar. I don't really love either. It's how it's so weak against Shock and the body doesn't matter that much. I'm going to take out the Familiars. I'm gonna take out one ooze, one Zagana, and um, one Frilled Mystic, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and play the melodies. I kind of like Frilled Mystic though on the play. On the draw, I'm gonna take the Frilled Mystic Mystics out, but I like them on the play. Ugh. It is certainly worse against Phoenix than traditional Drakes, absolutely. If you negate on a spell, would it still work towards the Phoenix's ability? Yeah, the Phoenix only checks to see if you cast uh, three spells, so you can have some of those spells get countered. Um, and that's okay.
I don't think sitting back and waiting until we can play Growth Chamber Guardian and adapt it is necessarily a, a great play for us. I'm just throwing it out there. They have removal, they have removal, whatever. I'll play Jade Light next turn and move on. All right, no removal. Let's go get another one, and now it's a 4-4, so it can tussle with drakes and everything. Hopefully we draw an island and we can have Frilled Mystic available. Not quite. All right, let's go Jade Light. Let's look for land. Hmm. Problem is we don't have any other creatures in the graveyard for Kral Harpooner. I'm just gonna go to the graveyard. Gonna, you know, I want more land with like Entrancing Melody and everything and Frilled Mystic. So I assume they're playing a third spell if they are willing to cast Opt there. That was a great turn for the opponent, having double removal spell and get a free 3-2 flyer. Yeah, I make the decks myself. All, f all four of these decks that we have here are decks I've put together. The arrow's pointing at me. No, Phoenix, don't attack me. Attack them. Come on, Phoenix. Attacking the wrong person. Yeah, I, th I think that we're pretty big underdogs in this matchup, too. We had to have a quick draws. You know, like, we had to have... Um, yeah, like, we're gonna want, like, uh, early plays for the most part with, like, um, you know, with our mana creatures to try to get out ahead early. I didn't live through hell. Sometimes restoration means retribution. <clears throat> okay, game three. Let's get these mystics out of here on the draw. Do I want Ripjaw Raptor? Just playing a 4 5. I need to play two Ripjaws and the Biogenicus. Yeah, that was a pretty bad game for them, and they were on the draw. Um. Let's try that. But no, this is... Flyers are a problem. Um, especially a flyer that keeps on coming back. Uh, like how uh, Arc Light Phoenix keeps on coming back. I, you know, I have Vivian and I have Kral Harpooner. That's how I can deal with some flyers. Wow. 
All four breeding pools. Got all the shock lands. So I think next turn I'm just planning on just land war elf, tap land, attack for one. Or I'll just do that now. I don't think I want to play the growth chamber guardian. So let's just go another land war elf and a tap land. That is true. It is better to have all shock lands than, than all check lands. Raptor's pretty cool. So I want the Krasis to be a 5-5, five five, if possible, at least, um, so it doesn't die to Lava Coil. But that we're a long ways away from that, though. I definitely do not want it to be a 3-3, three because three, it doesn't match up against Crackling Drake at all. It was a 3-3. Three three. So I can Shock and play Growth Chamber Guardian and activate it. Or I can just play Jade Light Ranger. And not Shock. I'm just going to play Jade Light Ranger and not Shock. Do I want to play Growth Chamber Guardian also? No. Any, have any viable zombie deck lists? Yeah, we, we played a zombie deck um, like a week ago or so and and actually did pretty well with it. Uh, beat up on some control decks and everything. Um, you can find it on my Stream Decker page um, or, of course, my, my YouTube channel if you want to watch the video on the YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash Todd Stevens MTG. Um, you may have to, you know, just control F and kind of search for zombie deck or just kind of scroll down. But, yeah, we did pretty well with it. I think we went like 4-2, I think. Two beacon bolts? That is not good for my Hydro Crisis. No attacks? How are they not attacking at all? Like, not even with the Electromancer or anything? There you go. Thanks, Dirk. Thanks for finding that. Supercharged energy equals. So if I play this other Growth Chamber Guardian, I'm just going to play this for two. Worst possible card to draw. Absolute worst possible card to draw. I don't actually have any takes on, I don't have any like opinions on Phoenix and Modern and Legacy. Um, I don't really play Modern and Legacy anymore. I haven't played them since the Phoenix decks <laughs> became a thing, so Hope I don't really have any good. informed opinions on them. On it there. 
So the reason why I was I decided to play the Krasis because even if I played a Krasis for bigger, it was like the Krasis was going to be dying to a, a beacon bolt. That's what I was thinking, and we had the growth chamber guardian in the chamber uh, for like the next turn and the turn after and the turn after. I'd have like three turns. My next three turns could just be like play growth chamber guardian, make it a four four kind of thing. Um, drawing growth chamber guardian, drawing another one was just the worst possible draw though. Since we already have the other one, I'm willing just to play this one out as a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, I've been really enjoying Standard. Um, and Magic Arena and everything like that. So this is what I do now, just stream, you know, stream here each and every day uh, from 3 to 10 Eastern. Looks like we're losing this one. Oh, come on. I just want to peek. The weight is killing hey, me. Hey, Mr. Lenock. Hi. Yeah, Phoenix decks are not my favorite. Uh, yeah, the the next deck that we're about to play, Rakdos Aggro, is it's a Priest of the Forgotten Gods deck. Um, yeah, it's the next deck that we're about to play. Utilizes Priest of the Forgotten Gods quite a bit. Get another one of those hydroid crises now. Really hope they don't find a spell they just get to cast Ooh, here. Let's see what we got. Um, to return the phoenixes. All right, good. But we're still not beating this row with you know all lands Ooh, in hand. Come on, I just want to peek. The weight is killing me. I don't think our opponent's playing a third Beacon Bolt, so they've already gone through two Beacon Bolts, so a really big Krasis could be um, really difficult for our opponent to deal with. I guess they have the Rao Minus, though. The Rao Minus 3. We'll kill a Krasis. <laughs> we are getting flooded. Let's tear. You can't stop nature. Just looking for Biogenic Ooze here. That should be game. Well, let's see what the wind blows in. We get to put another phoenix in the graveyard. No, so I I made this deck before uh before like the the land art change thing happened. I don't even think I have an out. 
Oh, well, now I'm just taking lethal. Alright, two and one. Ral is at Viceroy. Took over that game with the double beacon bolt. Um, playing the Krasis while I, when I did, ended up being the wrong move. Should have been more patient on that. Yes, you can modify your import list, change the basic land art. That's the only way to do it right now. This is a slow hand. Hopefully we draw a mana creature um, by turn two. Or not. Gates is going to be a tough matchup with all their sweepers. Um, but if we get to flip Hadana's climb, it can certainly do a lot of work for us. Ooh, they... Oh no, there's their land. Circuitous route is getting countered. I am not letting them just get lots more lands. No, thank you. Alright, time to ooze. Putting the counter on the ooze because I, I want to make it hard for a um, for a Gates of Blaze to kill my Biogenic Ooze. Um, the problem with like just a Demir discard deck, if you know, if you can't, you know, this is of course talking about talking if you can't fill out the rest of the deck. The big problem with a Demir discard deck is um, just ending the game, like uh, the finishers. Like Nicol Bolas is just the best card, like late game card. Um, so right now they have four of these. How worried do I need to be about, so if they have, they'd have to have like another circuitous route plus a gates of blaze. The safest play is just to do nothing. This is the safest play of, um, you know, they have like Palace of Harmony, another circuitous route, and then Gates of Blaze kind of thing. But yeah, Spawn of Mayhem's good. Yeah, they had they would have had double gates of blaze. Perfect. Played that really good against double gates of blaze. If we played another ooze, they would have just killed our entire board. Think thanks, Tungsten. So, Nagate's Entrancing Melody for their stupid ram. Um, what else? What else? I don't know cards that are really that bad here. Zagana, I guess Zagana is probably not necessary. That's probably our worst card. Biomancer is familiar, maybe. 
Yeah, I guess Rex Age does destroy that blue enchantment. Guild Summit, doesn't it? We also have Vivian that can take care of that. The problem is I don't know what else to take out. I, I like all these cards. Maybe I don't want the melodies. I, I do like the melody, though. Yeah, actually, I like the melodies. I like taking, like, the Hydro Crisis. Um... I think I like, yeah, I like that. Um, what two cards do I want to cut? This is probably like too much top end. But Biogenic Goose is really good. Hmm. I guess it's what I'm trimming though. I'm going to trim two ooze. I do like Frilled Mystic quite a bit. It's not in Nagate unless it's from the province of Nagate. Hmm. Let's go ahead and mulligan this. Alright, have a good night, Yud. Thanks for watching. Opponents at five cards. Don't gate to blaze me. All right, so I'm uh, leaving up either Incubation Druid, it's Activated Ability, or Frilled Mystic. Uh, so I probably need to counter that thing. Go ahead and uh, activate the incubation druid here. So three, four, five, six, seven. I know, like that. You know, we only get the cards out after uh, six. Um, you know, like a six-six gets the same amount of cards, but seven-seven makes it a two-turn clock in the air. Um, no, uh, I guess. Wait, three six. Wait. That's just lethal. Got a quick win. Three and one. Yeah, going a lot better today. We're doing doing real good. Win a bunch of matches and everything. Yeah, Vivian. So Vivian gets to destroy the Colossus there and then get to attack them for lethal. Because the Colossus is an artifact. <laughs> I think we try this. Let's do it. We're on the draw. We get like two draw steps to see if we get another land here.
We can get a whole lot of mana with Hidana's Climb on Incubation Druid. Um, I think I go... Let's see, if I go... Incubation Druid next turn... Alright, so I guess we just go Elf Elf. Um, next turn, Druid Druid. You know, presuming we don't draw a land, we'll just go Druid Druid. And then... Climb Ooze. No, uh, you can you can just donate... Uh, just click the, the Donate tab. Yeah, you found it there. Or you can also just, just like the banner lets you donate. Or there's like the, the link there. That's a killer. That was a killer. Dovin's Acuity deck? Is that the card that's like Disinformation Campaign? Is that like the blue-white Disinformation Campaign that, that draws you to? <laughs> what did you get for $5,000? Uh, I don't know, con control of the stream for a month? Yeah. Like, yeah, you can live with me for a month. Um, so let's see. I, I really think our opponent has March of the Multitudes, and so I want to have Frilled Mystic available for that. Problem is we don't get to really do anything. Like, we can't Biogenic Ooze and Frilled Mystic. I can Growth Chamber Guardian and Frilled Mystic. I should go to combat first. I should have gone to combat before playing the Growth Chamber Guardian. Alright, not punished. But this is definitely like a March of the Multitudes. And I need to counter it. doing pretty good for only having two lands and having getting and getting triple stone drained gonna ooze and activate 
Um, I'm probably just not going to. I'm probably not going to um, adapt that growth chamber guardian anyway with like biogenic ooze in play that I can make more oozes. I am glad our opponent didn't deputy of detention the two incubation druids. We've really needed those. Zagana would be nice now. Um, or Hydra Crisis. Not Tristani. That is not nice. That was not the card I wanted to f see from my opponent's side. Not good, not good. Hmm. Yeah, this is not good. The problem was, is we couldn't, I don't think we could leave Frill open and play, yeah, we, we we didn't have the option to leave Frilled Mystic open and play Biogenic Ooze, because when we played Biogenic Ooze, we, like, you just, we couldn't play both, um, because this thing adds three mana of one color. If I had the ability to keep Frilled Mystic available, instead of making a token, I would have, um, but we didn't have that ability. And then also, yeah, also the Tithe Taker didn't have the extra mana for that one either. Come on, an Six. Draw three, gain three. Yeah, it certainly seems like I'm only playing like four lands, right? And maybe we should have more than four lands in here. I think it's a 12 12 now. Shauna is. It can turn into a 13 uh, 13 by just activating the Adanto. Yeah, by just activating the Adanto, it can turn into a 13 13.
I do have the ability just to keep Frilled Mystic up now. Um, or I can play Jade Light, try to get a land, and then activate Biogenic Ooze. Um, I guess I just keep Frilled Mystic available. Because we can't really handle, like, a, a Flourish or anything like that. Oh, is this a March? I'm really glad we kept Frilled Mystic available for this March. It's the second time they've opponents played a march and we have thrilled mystic it. Yeah, this game's lagging with too many game objects, looks like. <laughs> Let him just have thirty power thirty lifelink power. Just why not? Well, that's game. The opponent needed to attack with more than that. They need to attack with life linkers. I'll just give this ooze, make this ooze a 14-14 flyer. And now we're attacking for 20 in the air. And that's game. They had to attack with some life linkers. This is a tough matchup for us. I think we got like really, really lucky to like frilled Mystic both their March of the Multitudes, um, but like Tristani, I, I have nothing for Tristani, honestly. I could play some Negates. Um, for March and stuff. Trancing Melody is not good against Tristani. They just get their thing back. I'm just going to play my game. I'm not going to have Negates in for their game. I probably do need some creature interaction, so yeah, something like Titanic Brawl, Prey Upon, um, those could be some decent options. Because yeah, like, Deputy of Detention um, can be pretty rough. Alright, I like that. I like getting those lands. I'll take like the 2-1 that just trades with Aramara. I'll take that. The big question is what I want to do next turn. If we want to hold up Frilled Mystic. Um, I don't think that answers the question for us. Can't hold up Frilled Mystic with only three mana. Hey, Gatsby, welcome back. <laughs> the 
Elefant. Elefant. I feel like that's how you'd say the elephant in French. Elefant. Elephant. Should I take out this Shauna? Nah. Blocking Shauna's kind of risky. They have like a march or something. Or a deploy. Hmm. Flying creatures. That's no good. Just beat a gate stack by hitting them twice in the face with their own Colossus using their Nexus I stole with Thief of Sanity. <laughs> There you go, Demir, steal your stuff, discard, super fun. There you go, I like it. All right, so we gotta find a Hydroid Crisis before these um, little flyers kill us. Should have a few more turns. Not many, though. So three, six, seven. I guess we'll just kind of draw these two dead cards out of our deck so we don't so we don't draw them. And I I do not want to attack because they they get to just block with Tithe Taker and get another flyer and make it a three turn clock instead of a four turn clock uh, in the air. Crisis. Dang. If we draw Crisis, we're gonna have a lot of mana. I'm glad my opponent didn't attack with the Tithe Taker, like make me block it kind of thing. Just have as much mana as we can. No! Oh, I'm a one mana short. I forgot about the two tithe takers. Uh, I forgot about the two tithe takers. Ugh. All right, we're probably dead to those one ones anyway. The next turn. Hmm. Ugh, 
I didn't actually have Frilled Mystic available. My B. My bad. All right, game three. Our hand's pretty decent. Ooh, opponent's down to five, four. This is the thing about our opponent's deck that I've noticed, like when we played Band Tokens. Um, it's a pretty. It's you have like some really bad hands. Like they, they usually only play twenty-one lands with some like flowers. And like being a three-color deck with that little amount of lands, like you just have. Like there's times you just don't draw lands, don't have your colors and stuff, and you just don't get to play Magic. Um. So. That's the kind of the risk with that deck there. Kuno, I think you're pretty far behind. You're talking about like our sideboarding there for the last game. You may want to refresh. Mulligan. Keep. Oh, it is final boss. Final boss time. We are four and one. Let's throw those emotes in the chat. Get your final boss emotes. Here we go. Final boss music. All right, so our opponent got to keep seven. We're on six. It's a good deck to push the best three ladder right now. I mean, I do think Sultai is just the best deck if you want to be playing the best deck. Um, if you want, if you don't want to play like a um, the kind of deck that like other people are playing, um, I did. I really like the Grixis discard that we played last league. I think that's a, a good recommendation. Okay, I do not have do not have two blue for Frilled Mystic. Um, do I want to just Krasis for two? Or play this familiar? <laughs> yeah, I like I like winning Todd too. Um. I'm just going to cycle. <laughs> Next turn we do get to play Growth Chamber Guardian and Biomancer's Familiar and adapt the Growth Chamber Guardian. We get to do all of it. Stop drawing Growth Chamber Guardians deck. I will take that trade. Maybe we'll get another blue mana and we can have Frilled Mystic eventually. Gross. Uh, it's a little late now, deck.
Just a tad late. I was saying the, the Grixis discard deck that we just got done playing, but that's a good, uh, that was my recommendation there. Um, I think they're going to have another finality. Sure hope not. Sure hope it's not another finality. Six mana would have been a little better for us how because we get to adapt to this growth, growth chamber guardian and then play Hadana's climb and um, flip the climb immediately. Okay, down to 10. Hmm. Want to get an another creature outside of finality range. If they just attack with the crisis. Kind of thought they may just attack with the crisis. All right. So I can I can crisis my I can do my own crisis for five right now. But waiting a turn, we get to make a lot bigger crisis. Um, so four, five, six, seven, eight. And crisis for eight now. Hey, a bunch of lands. All right, going to game two. Against Sultai. Let's get the two entrancing melodies in. Um, I know last time we played Sultai, I didn't sideboard at all because I didn't really realize that they were just regular Sultai mid range after the first game because we killed them really quick. Um, I thought they were like a Sultai control kind of thing. Now we know that they're a Sultai mid range. Um. Honestly, I don't know why. I don't know. I think I I kind of feel like regular Sultai could take advantage of Hadana's climb also. What do I want to take out? Do I want to take out the Biomancer's Familiars? No, the Familiar's good. Maybe take out a, a Zagana. Maybe one Zagana, one Familiar. 
Yeah. <laughs> Alright, can we defeat the final boss? Our five win dream is still alive for now. This is a good opener. Opponents down to five. We have been facing a good amount of opponents on like five card hands today. Uh, question is, I'm missing two ooze. They are worth to craft over Nexus of Fate. Um, maybe not. Maybe Nexus of Fate is better for you. Um, yeah, it kind of depends on, on you know which deck you want to play. Usually the, the Nexus of Fate decks are playing... Um, Oozes also. Are much more reliable. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Balance comes. All right, turn three, Vivian, and now, sure they kill our creatures, but we have double Frilled Mystic to protect our Vivian, and then we'll just Vivian Ultimate. My newest friend. Meet my oozest friend. There we go. It's official. It's another 5-1. Mark it down. Easy boss fight. Another 5-1. Got our 2100 gold. Got our gems. Yeah, turn three, Vivian, real good. Especially when the Vivian's ticking up and finding Counterspell. <laughs> you know, Counterspell's attached to, with, to three two bodies. Um, so yeah, that, that league went really well for us. We, we didn't do a whole lot sideboarding-wise. Um, but, you know, like, our deck certainly has holes. Um, you know, like, we don't have, like, removal, you know, at all. Um... So like the real aggressive decks, especially like mono white. Mono white is a is a is a just a really hard matchup for this because like they get on the battlefield so fast and go um, real big and real wide, and we can't really handle that. So you know we did not face any mono white. Um, even mono red also that's also a tough matchup. Those aggro decks are. Um, but yeah, we we beat Soltai twice. Hadana's climb was a big part of that. Hadana's climb was awesome. Um, I liked Biogenic Ooze and Frilled Mystic. I was, you know, a little worried about those two cards, but those those were both like good cards for us, um, in general. Um, yeah, we did get the fifteen sub goal pack. I think. I guess I don't really remember. Um, Zagana didn't seem too great. It, we didn't really do too much with Zagana. Uh, a whole lot. It was good against an aggro deck when we played against the Gruul aggro to start with. Riptar Raptor was actually pretty sweet in the sideboard. Um, I wonder if like those two Zagana slots. I wonder if like those could just be like two Entrancing Melodies in the main deck. Well, if we just played Entrancing Melody main deck. It's an inter interesting thought. It's probably my least favorite card. Maybe even one a third climb. Hadana's climb was just awesome. Um. But yeah, so that's so I don't I don't really like incubation incongruity. The last time I played this deck, I played an incubation incongruity, and I wanted to take those out. I I really didn't like the incongruity removal spell. I had to use it on like Wild Growth Walker, and I just died at the three three, and I just wanted to take it out and just have other bodies. I don't know. 
yeah, maybe yeah, maybe third third climb over the Zagana and fourth Krasis. Maybe. I could certainly see that. Um Zagana's, you know, good against the aggro decks, so you're gonna be even worse against the aggro decks if you're putting in climbs and crises and stuff and taking the Zaganas out. Um so that's something to to be worried about. Um is you know, you're even worse against like creature aggro. All right, so if you're watching this later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.